great, 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 great grandmother. I'd like you to meet Eve. Mitochondrial Eve, that is. She's the oldest known maternal ancestor of every man, woman and child on Earth today. You might be wondering how we could possibly trace your ancestry this far back in time. The answer might surprise you. We've talked a lot about chromosomes in this video series. Well, there's another type of DNA you have that isn't in your chromosomes. I'm talking about mitochondrial DNA, or mtDNA for short. Every woman has this type of DNA in her eggs, so every woman who has children passes this DNA to her children. Men, women and everything in between inherits mtDNA from their mother, and only their mother. Men have mtDNA, but when they have children, the father's mitochondrial DNA never enters the mother's egg, so it does not get passed down to his children. Most chromosomal DNA changes quite a bit from one generation to the next, as the genes of mothers and fathers mix and recombine. Mitochondrial DNA, however, barely changes at all from one generation to the next, it remains almost identical. This allows the folks at CRI Genetics to trace your direct maternal ancestry all the way back 100,000 years to the earliest known woman in human history. mtDNA changes so little, so rarely, that it takes thousands of years worth of generations before a new branch on the mtDNA family tree arises. If you've purchased a maternal haplogroup report, you get a full description of this part of your family tree, along with an interactive map that shows how your maternal ancestors moved around the world throughout human history. Every man who has male children passes on his Y chromosome to those children. Like mtDNA, the Y chromosome remains almost identical from one generation to the next. It's a similar concept, except this time it's the Y chromosome that's used to trace direct paternal ancestry. If you purchased a paternal haplogroup report, you get a full description of this part of your family tree along with an interactive map that shows how your paternal ancestors moved around the world throughout human history. Unfortunately, paternal haplogroup reports aren't available for women. We at CRI Genetics wish it was possible, but women don't have a Y chromosome. Maybe we'll find another way someday, but that's far above my pay grade. Until then, the only way for women to learn about paternal ancestry is to either have her brother or father take a DNA test. If you have uncles or cousins descended from your grandfather, that could work too. Anyway, I think it's high time we got out of here. Let's head back to the time machine. Buckle up, we're heading to Hollywood. Now, the cool thing about those haplogroups I just told you about is many people all over the world have the same mtDNA or Y chromosomes as you do. They're called haplogroups for a reason. You're all part of a group of people who share the same DNA. And it's almost guaranteed that there are some celebrities and famous historical figures in your haplogroup. Look, here comes Queen Victoria. So, if you purchased a famous people report, you can find out what famous people you are related to. Here comes the King. Now, to be clear, they may be very distant relatives, but they are relatives nonetheless. If they're in the same haplogroup as you, that means you share a 
common ancestor at some point in your family tree. That common ancestor could be a great, 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 great grandmother or grandfather, making you very distant cousins. But it's still pretty cool to know there's a piece of DNA you have that's exactly the same as a celebrity's. Sup, Ben? Love this guy. Anyway, that's about it for today. I'm going to head in with my buddy here. Catch you next time.